Ever feel like your good deeds go unnoticed? Or maybe you think small acts of charity are not worth the effort? Well, in today's video, we're diving into the inspiring testimonies shared by Padre Pio's biographer, revealing that acts of charity, no matter how small, are not only seen, but deeply valued. Stay tuned for a powerful reminder that your kindness does make a difference. Welcome back to our YouTube channel following Padre Pio. If you're new to our channel, Padre Pio was a Capuchin friar, mystic, and miracle worker whose intercession is still very powerful and active today. We publish videos and shorts five days a week, so follow us to find out more about the life of this fascinating saint, and you will be amazed at what Padre Pio can do for you, a family member, or a friend. And now to our story. Today's story is sourced from the book, Padre Pio, Stories and Memories by John McCaffrey. Within its pages, we discover the author's experiences with Padre Pio's mystical perfume, also known as the odor of sanctity. Now, for those unaware, Padre Pio emanated a delightful floral scent, as if he used some very expensive perfume, although he never actually used any and many people testified to sensing this mystical perfume even when far away from Padre Pio, often interpreting it as a sign or even a warning against danger. Well, without further ado, let's dive into John McCaffrey's testimony. Listen to this. Did I ever experience it, time and again, alone, in company, in San Giovanni, and far away from it? but always completely unexpectedly, and therefore with no possibility of auto-suggestion. It generally conveyed a message, but sometimes was just like an affectionate pat on the head. He then continues, One of the earliest occasions I remember was when Padre Pio was hearing confessions in the small church, and I was standing among the crowd of people who would remain there, standing or kneeling, to share his presence until he returned to the convent. Suddenly, I felt this powerful wave of captivating perfume, and my first reaction was to think, good God, what unspeakable female has soaked herself like that in expensive scent before coming here? As I gazed around, however, I saw people look at each other with comprehending smiles, and heard one girl say to her companion, that is the fourth time I have felt the perfume this morning. Furthermore, John McCaffrey shares a memory when he smelt the perfume and perceived it as a kind of reward for a selfless act. He shared, I had arrived at the church door well before dawn, long before it opened, and had secured for myself an excellent vantage point whence to be able to see Padre Pio at close quarters throughout his mass at the altar of St. Francis. Just as he was about to emerge from the sacristy, I noticed the good Padre Vincenzo, the convent's porter, come out to celebrate mass at another side altar without having anybody to serve him. McCaffrey shares that there was a strong conflict within him. He woke up early to see Padre Pio up close, but at the same time, he felt pity for Father Vincenzo. So he finally decided to give up his spot and go help Father Vincenzo at the side altar. However, as Father Vincenzo reached the moment of consecration, out of nowhere he felt the strong scent of Father Pio's perfume. In his own words, it was the most fantastic pat on the head I have ever received. Proof that if I was unable to follow Padre Pio's Mass, my own tiny sacrifice had been duly followed by him. In other words, his selflessness did not go unnoticed. Inspired by his example, I encourage you to consider joining our Protected Children of Padre Pio program. By doing so, you can become a Padre Pio Apostle helping us spread the miracles and wisdom of Padre Pio for the salvation of souls. 
Members have special spiritual and material benefits. And it's simple to join. Just follow the link in the description below to learn more. John McCaffrey then goes on to share a moment when he was in the company of a business acquaintance. The man was a very dedicated non-Catholic Christian, known for smuggling Bibles onto Soviet ships docked in London. At one point in their conversation, McCaffrey started to debate within himself whether it would be appropriate to mention Potter Pio. Suddenly, a wave of perfume came, and he knew that he should indeed familiarize the man with the amazing Potter Pio. Upon sharing his insights about Potter Pio, the man stared right into John McCaffrey's eyes for about 20 seconds, as if trying to discern whether he was serious. Now, John McCaffrey states that he does not know to what extent, or if at all, this encounter changed the man's perspective or beliefs. Unlike the man from the following story. Listen to this. One day, John McCaffrey was having lunch with another business acquaintance at a restaurant in Milan. The man shared that he was going through a difficult time in his personal life. Despite knowing that the man was not Catholic, John McCaffrey again wondered whether he should introduce him to Padre Pio, to provide him with some consolation and hope. And there it was again, the presence of that strong, penetrating perfume, a scent unrelated to the food being served. Once more he knew that he had Padre Pio's support, so he shared his story. The man showed immediately just how much he needed Padre Pio. He says that the man opened his soul to Padre Pio's story like a parched flower to the summer rain. And it seemed to him that never again would the man feel quite so hurt and lonely as he did before. End of story. In conclusion, today's stories remind us that acts of kindness and selflessness, no matter how small, are never unnoticed. Moreover, Caring for the salvation of souls is a profound act of mercy and compassion. John McCaffrey's experiences with Padre Pio serve as a testament to this truth. His desire to introduce others to the great saint reflect a deep understanding of the importance of guiding souls towards spiritual growth. Thank you for listening and stay tuned for the next video on the life of Padre Pio.